In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up this workflow that's super simple. You can schedule a weekly trigger that pulls your bank's information, all the incomes and the expenses, and saves everything to Superbase with Postgres and generates a weekly report sent to your email. It might seem hard, but it actually takes just a few minutes to set this thing up. And by end of this video, you will have entire system up and running. And also I will give you this Excel template so you can just connect and play with it. So first and foremost, I'm going to do a quick demo run. So I'm going to hit this uh, trigger, as you can see this workflow pull all the information from uh, Stripe, save the information to database, and as you can see, generate the uh, analysis. And as you can see, formatting the report, so it can be outputted to, uh, with HTML, and let's quickly navigate to uh, Inbox, and as you can see, here's the report, your weekly financial report, financial report, weekly summary, and everything is here, analysis uh, from financial expert, uh, and as you can see, executed summary, detailed income analysis, Detailed expense analysis, net balance overview, forward looking recommendations, sentiment analysis, and tra transaction overviews as well. Date, description, amount, as you can see, uh, 2025 05, uh, this is 23 of uh, May, uh, school slash share business, Rico Pronest, 3.5 thousand euros, and as you can see, net balance as well, outgoings, and incomes here as well. So now I'm going to explain how this thing works as well. So navigate to N10. Here you can see for the trigger, we're using this schedule trigger. This activates every seven days. Days between triggers uh, seven and triggers at hour five, 5 a.m. So let's move on. For the transactions, I am using Stripe. You can use uh, Wise, or if you have a Chase or Amex or MasterCard card, you can uh, go to, I'm going to quickly show you, as you can see, uh, balance underscore transactions API MasterCard, for example and then we get here and here and here you can see now we get a little bit down and here you can see account balance uh, i just copy this and paste it inside this http node you can see just paste it inside here and and here you can see for the method we're using get so we can actually retrieve the information from the bank and here's the url of all http uh, colon uh, slash slash api dot stripe uh, dot com slash v1 slash balance underscore transactions and if you're not using stripe just go and take your uh, correct url so let's quickly move on and there you can see send query parameters when you turn this one on, specify query parameters using fields below and query parameters will be name and value. Here we're gonna basically calculate how many seconds do we have in the week. So let's quickly move on as you can see. And here we can set the limit how many transactions uh, we can allow. And we're gonna turn this sentence on so we can actually uh, use the API key here. As you can see for the name, we're gonna go with authorization and uh, value will be better. Uh, and your uh, secret key from your uh, bank. And here you can see when I hit this test step, it's gonna output all the bank's information. As you can see, ID, uh, object, amount, uh, available on, currency, description, uh, HTTP school.com, slash share business, and recuperance time, and so on and so on. I'm gonna quickly show you Stripe as well. And as you can see here are the transaction. This, this is Sandbox or the test account. So I'm gonna quickly show you as you can see, 3.5 thousand euros. And there you can see change uh, charged to Rico Pronaste. And there you can see descriptions, uh, school.com slash AI business, uh, Rico de Pronaste. I'm gonna navigate back to N10. Here you can see Rico Pronaste is always correct. So now let's quickly check how many transactions we had in Stripe as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this one failed. So let's quickly check, scroll down, and there you can see four and five so we got all the transactions so let's close this for now and as you can see the next node is split data this basically allows us to split all the needed information so i'm going to open this node and here you can see split today as uh, uh, the fields to split out data and include no other fields so i'm going to hit this step and we can see it can uh, put all the information and here you can see now we have this overview when i hit this table here you can see id object amount available on and balance type created currency and so on and so on everything is documented here so let's quickly close this and move on and here we're going to format all the information so we can actually input it uh, into postgres database so i'm going to open this and here you can see here's the code this basically allows us to document all, everything inside the superbase i'm going to quickly show you this as well i'm going to leave this code down below so you can just copy this i'm going to hit this step and you can see it's going to output all the information uh, into these uh, columns here, as you can see, week ending, total in, total out, net, flag, and raised Rob Johnson, Jason. So I'm gonna navigate to Superbase, and here you can see weekly reports, and week ending, uh, total in, total out, and net, and flag, and uh, Rob Jason as well, so we can actually do some uh, deep analysis if we need to, and insert uh, that. So I'm gonna quickly show you how we can create this table as well. So uh, navigate to SQL Editor, and open this, I'm gonna quickly delete this, and I'm gonna quickly copy this code, as you can see, I have this code here. I'm gonna copy all this. I'm gonna leave this down below so as well, so you can just copy this. 
Then I get back to uh, super base, and here you can see I'm going to just base the Terra and just hit run. As you can see, it succeeded, no rows returned, and then it's going to uh, create the table for you in this table later, and you can see with reports, and here you go. So now I'm going to navigate back, and let's quickly close this code too, and let's open this Postgres database. I'm going to hit the step, and then you can see it uploaded all the information to the database. I have it already here, so it's not going to duplicate it. So I'm going to navigate back, and let's move on. And then we're going to feed all the information to our AI agent. This is going to basically generate a weekly financial report for us, and this uses 4.1 nano, GPT 4.1 nano. Let's quickly uh, open this and I test the step as well. So as you can see, it should output the information. And you can see executing now right now. And here you can see it generated a weekly financial report for us, report period, uh, May 24, 2025. So I'm gonna quickly show you this uh, system prompt as well. Uh, here, are, here are my financial data for the last week. Uh, report uh, period, total income, total expense, net balance, spending level and transaction details and please generate a concise report based on this information. Then it's gonna basically use all the information what we previously uh, pulled from the Postgres uh, uh, database. And then we're gonna basically generate the report based on the information. And you can see here's the system message as well. So I'm gonna quickly open this. And you can see your uh, highly skilled financial analyst specialized in small business and personal finance. Uh, your task is to generate a comprehensive, insightful and professional weekly financial report and some information more uh, to the AI agent so the AI agent can do better analyze. So let's move on. As you can see, I'm going to quickly close this. And then we have this wait node here. So uh, the AI agent has more time. So I'm going to quickly hit run as well. This is empty, obviously, yeah, as you can see. Now we have to wait five seconds. And there you can see, then we're going to feed all the information to our uh, code. Uh, this is going to basically format the report in HTML so we can actually feed it to our uh, to Gmail. But there might happen a one error with this. The format report HTML or just error code free. Uh, node may occasionally fail. This is typically uh, due to the high memory usage within uh, the NAT and sandbox. I'm going to quickly show you as well. Here you can see right now, uh, high memory usage, 840 megabytes. If it goes over one gigabyte, it might there might happen some kind of errors. Uh, but the easiest fix is to just, just save it and turn it active and just close the window and there should not be any issues. So now I'm going to quickly show you this code as well. This is going to basically generate this beautiful uh, output here as you can see your financial financial weekly uh, report financial uh, report weekly summary this all the blue lines and everything this code basically is going to generate all the information uh, this long code i'm going to leave this code down below as well so you can just copy this so let's quickly move on and you can see here we're going to output all the information uh, resource will be message operation will be sent tool will be your email and you can see your weekly financial report week ending and there's the date and you can see the email type will be HTML and message is uh, JSON.html uh, and uh, we're not going to append the NATN attribution because otherwise it's going to show that uh, we sent this with NATN. So, so now I'm going to quickly show you as well. So I'm going to add a, another a payment here, create payment, manual payment. I'm going to put them out, but uh, let's put one, one million errors for the customer. I'm going to pick just my account. I'm going to, for the card number, I'm going to just put the card number what I have here and five for five. And you can see I'm going to submit this a payment. Oops, we have some problem here. I'm going to put a uh, digital AI and submit payment. And you can see the amount can be so big. So I'm going to put just 10,000 euros. So I'm going to submit this payment. So as you can see, payment successful. We have processed your 10,000 euros charge. So I'm going to get to an attend. I'm going to hit test workflow. As you can see, it pulled the information from Stripe. Save it to uh, Postgres database. Turn in the weekly financial report for us. One moment, it's generating for us, and you can see what, and you can see when this, and you can see when it, uh, and you can see formatting the report HTML and send the weekly report. So I'm gonna navigate to a Gmail. You can see your fi uh, weekly final report, and you can see, can we see it? Error digital AI, ten thousand euros. So as you can see, it worked. So let's have get back to N10, and you can see. And I will leave all the codes and everything under this video so I can just copy paste them. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.